What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to your weekly roundup of eFootball 2022 for Dream Team. We've got a more, we've got a couple of more legends. We've got a couple of campaigns we'll go through in a second, as well as a few issues to talk about and stuff like that. But we'll keep it short and sweet. As you guys can see here, we do have the Real Madrid legends. So you've got the new legendary box, which contains 150 players, including Raul, Xavi Alonso, and Van der Vaart. As far as I know, that's Van der Vaart's first time appearing this season. Um, I mean, is Raul and Alonso and Van der Vaart, are they going to be definitely in you guys' squad? I mean, to me... Um, probably not. I do like Alonso's passing stats and stuff, um, and his uh, his defensive awareness, engagement for a, a, an orchestrator. Uh, he also has his unwavering form and stuff. But we'll get into a video of that in a couple of minutes to see if they are worth actually spinning for. But let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip this week. So other than that, we do have in-game campaigns as you can see here we've got the level up extra level up campaign so we had the level up campaign now we've got the extra level up campaign um which we go into here and you have got the campaign which it says whether you're new to eFootball or already established veteran the extra level up campaign is now underway so you basically get quadruple amount of level training programs in all challenges so um in the tour events you get experience points multiplied by three and in the challenge events you get even more than that so it's quadrupled so when we actually go into this it'll tell you the out it'll tell you exactly what you're going to be getting in the outline there um and it says that what's more there'll be a, a time limited challenge for where you can get your hands on xp training points ten thousand by three um and it says all match gained experience points are tripled so look if you're trying to train up a couple of youngsters you're training up guys that you just want to finish off and you're struggling with training them um this is a good a good opportunity for you guys to do that i suppose you can see the dates there as well and then the tripled experience points is now underway they're all tripled so any match gained experience points are tripled and then um and then it's obviously going to be it's going to be uh just rinse and repeat for the other one so when we actually go into that um you can see here in a second we also have what else do we have we have the match here the authentic match obviously that is still locked out there is no events for the authentic match i would say they're going to probably wait till they update the squads and the teams um you know with Haaland at city and stuff like that um and they've also got this campaign in here uh in the events which you can see here and don't forget as well as that the ratings will be uh, going back for the the divisions quite soon as well so there's the worldwide clubs and that is there and then you've also got the ai match tour events as well um so yeah so moving across over we'll just get a confirmation of some of the stuff that they've fixed and that they've uh, they've you know had issues with um we've got regarding contract renewals so a lot of people were messaging me about this asking primarily on um mobile because it is only for ios and android or solely on mobile i should say um where people's contracts were getting all messed up and their players were getting all messed up and weren't being displayed properly because they were sorting them by contract um which i don't know what way the contracts are going to work we might do a video on it discussing how i think it'll work um but yeah that should be fixed uh or they are working on a fix for that um now that was on the third of the eight so then obviously they have this one as well so a couple of i think it was like last week um they had this it was back to 28th to the 7th they had that there was an issue with some of the players um and the standard players and managers list they were able to sign players and managers that had an erroneous display of in-game data such as stats and appearance so they've actually fixed that now um and they've given you know um compensation of trainer programs by one for that i mean i don't know what that's going to be worth um but yeah and then also on top of that we have an in-match strips issue so i actually came up against this um where it was a guy that I, I don't know who i was playing was it barcelona versus barcelona and it was literally like super super hard um to see the kits or whatever i obviously didn't realize it until it was too late but some of the new kits as well um they're going to cause problems because they're not you know balanced against the, the newer kits you know that kind of way um that has been been worked on and then the friend match related objectives issues still no friend match lobby for um eFootball football 2022 um for console but we do have it for mobile obviously if you guys play that and um, this has been fixed where our related objectives are deemed complete regardless of match results so people were getting um people were getting you know stuff 
after disconnecting or improperly concluding a friend match, they were still getting the rewards. So nice to see that they're looking into that though. But man, we need more. We need more. And I know this is a news roundup. I'm not going to go into a rant, but we need more. You know what I mean? You can hear the, the crickets chirping at the moment with eFootball 2022. Um, I'm going to have a, a video out later where a bit of gameplay where I think that, you know, the gameplay is in a, is a very strange place now. But that is it from me, lads. I will let you back to it. And uh, yeah, we will talk in a while. And obviously, as well as that, we do have uh, in the contract just to finish off this video. As I said earlier, we do have the Real Madrid in there. And you have the Breakout Stars Volume 2, which is going to be over in 20 days time. So um, that's going to be still there, but they've removed a couple of players. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of my stuff. And I'll talk to you in a bit.